Okay, everybody, this is what's on the menu today. Okay, very light, y'all, because I'm, I'm hot. I just came back from grocery shopping, got a few things. I'm going to have these Rainier cherries because if you've had these, you know that they are nature's candy, really, because these are super sweet. Got me some plums. They look sweet, okay, and I got me a piece of smoked salmon. So this is all I'm eating today. But I got some stuff to talk to you ladies about. This is definitely going to be a girl chit chat type video. So stay tuned in everybody. Let me get my plate. What up y'all? This is definitely going to be a girl chit chat video. Okay? Kind of upset but I'm going to try my best to be cool about it though y'all. At the end of the day. So stay tuned. Man. Nah. What up, cut ups? Let me make sure my phone ain't sliding too tough. Okay. Woo! I got my little snack, y'all. It's it's hot outside. It's raining right now, so it's kind of humid. I got the fan right on me, but and I'm eating kind of light because I really just want to talk. You know, um, I'm gonna need y'all feedback again, even though I really don't. You know. Um, women have our intuition. I've made videos saying this so many times, okay? But I just can't wait until men figure out that women are way smarter, okay? I mean, don't get mad, okay? It's just what it is. Women are smarter. So let me get into this, y'all. Oh, shout out. <laughs> Or better yet, go check out thecoldestwater.com. Check them out. All the information will be in the description box. Okay. So, I just want to say that when you have a routine, okay, or when a person has a routine, if you're close with somebody, I'm trying to make it look appealing, y'all. Let me just try to do something. Okay. But when you are close with someone and not just a significant other, okay? I'm talking about it could be a girlfriend. It could be your children, okay? The point I'm trying to make is when you're used to somebody or close to them, you know, or even if you get to know them, like I'm going to say like for me personally, after like six months, okay, of interacting with some people, a particular person um it would just seem like they would understand that when something is stagnated that's a red flag and let me just explain i don't want anybody confused or anything like that okay i've been dealing with this individual and it's definitely over the six month mark okay and I just noticed how this person like in the beginning used to always text me always call whether they was at work or or not okay just all the time y'all okay well I've noticed like for the past few months the calls have be become less and less okay why men think women are dumb and don't know that something's not right with the picture? I don't know. But something is clearly wrong with that picture. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. Wow. These Rainier cherries are the bomb. If you have not tried these, Please try them. Mm. Wow. Mm. Just so sweet. But anyway, I've been dealing with this person, you know, within my time frame where I feel like I know you a little bit, man. Okay? And I've been telling this person. Like, I've been noticing subtle little things, all right? Now, men are too stupid to... Re most. Let me, let me be clear. Not all men, some. Most, but 
not all of them too damn dumb to realize when a woman tells them something they think that they can somehow uh, talk their way out of it or maneuver you know around it or whatever and that's not the case with me because I'm gonna keep bringing it up you know until it's addressed and I feel like I'm just not the type of woman to chase a nigga like I I never did that shit y'all I don't know nothing about that don't want to know nothing about it and I'll be 48 in September I don't want to know anything about that I ain't chasing no nigga I'm just not going to do it okay because I asked this person like you know dude I text you at this time it was like five something in the morning giving it a real example it was like five something in the morning okay to let them know I will call you when I get up now this person does text me every single morning every morning okay but that's pretty much where it ends you know I'm not gonna say it ends there but it gets very limited especially compared to how it was in the beginning and this is what I'm trying to get this person to see to let him know I realize some things is not right and to me they're red flags okay now when we first got together dude you would call so fucking much it was like always at the wrong times I'm like damn this motherfucker calling again 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 this is what I used to tell myself because this is how much this person communicated lately that has shifted and it has been less and less and less okay this person want to use the excuse that the boss comes in and the boss don't want people on their phones and this that, and the other but it's awfully odd when you first start working at this place that had nothing to do with the communication now it's the boss so you know you expect weak ass excuses because that's what it is and all i'm saying is this whatever the situation whatever's going on okay that have you communicate less what you need to do is keep that shit over there keep that shit moving that's what i'm gonna need you to do okay because i ain't chasing no nigga and that's just what it is like i said okay i ain't doing it you know and i say that like that because the person had enough nerve to say well you can call bitch no i don't need to even though i had been calling that's how i know something's wrong what the fuck i need to call for so what i need is for a motherfucker to just be real at this point let me know what the fuck is going on because motherfucker if you too stupid and don't know what you got nigga let somebody else get it that's all i'm saying because to me that's what makes sense okay i ain't chasing you i don't do that shit i ain't gotta do it thank god i ain't gotta do it hey cross all my fingers i ain't got to do that shit never have so dude i'm gonna tell you go where your attention leads you man okay and let me know stop playing games and let me know because i have too many options y'all know i say that all the time because i mean that because it is the truth i have too many motherfucking options okay this is what that salmon looking like y'all look good as hell smoked salmon oh let me just taste this i already know it's good yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. i know i'm eating so light that was good but anyway yeah y'all bullshit ain't nothing it ain't nothing you want to tell me these weak ass excuses and shit no nah, nigga mm -mm. i know all i'm saying i'm gonna say this shit again in case you watch the video man keep that shit moving in, in the direction where you feel like it's needed if it's not here get the fuck out the way and let somebody else get that opportunity it's, it's very simple cut and dry okay it's not rocket science all right okay now on to something else y'all right Ooh. Mm. it stopped raining and i'm glad no it didn't it's still right now. Wow. It 
looked sweet, but I wasn't for sure, but they say, mm, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Damn. Damn. I haven't had plums in a really long time, but they good. Super good. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Always some shit. It just always is. I see, then I'm the type of person that, you know, I, I know how to communicate. I know how to use my words. I ain't never had a problem doing that. If anything, I know how to use my words all too well, okay? To get in the motherfucker ass if I need to. And they know it. But I don't hold nothing in. If I feel some type of way about a situation or somebody, I'm coming to let you know about it. Believe me, I'm going to let you know. I ain't no punk by any means, okay? Not me. Because mm -mm. I feel like people that, especially if you if you in your right mind, and you just type of person that just let people uh, run over you or get away with saying slick shit or whatever, shady stuff, whatever. That's too bad. Okay, speak up for yourself. Shit. If you don't, ain't nobody else gonna do it. All I know is this, y'all. I'm gonna keep my foot on a nigga neck. Okay, period. I don't care who it is, okay? You don't even have to really be a nigga. I be saying I'm used to that expression, okay? Um, that's what I'm going to do, though. That's what I was bred to do, and that's what I do. Because I find out it works for me. Hey, to each her own. Every woman out there is different, okay? But I know it worked for me, okay? I don't let up on these niggas. No, I don't. And I have no intention to do it. Because as soon as you do, motherfuckers get out of line. You got to keep them in check. Okay? Got to do it. Shit. Y'all. There's too much bullshit in the game. Okay? Motherfucker, you don't want to be around, go. Okay? I ain't stopping you. See ya. Because somebody else going to be right here. If they're not already, okay? Truth be told, motherfucker, the more distance you keep, bitch, understand it's going to be your loss, not mine, okay? I need you to understand that. I'm sorry, I had to go back to that, y'all, but it's obviously what's on my mind. Y'all know I talk about what's on my damn mind. I ain't letting it just sit there to bother me and let it flare up and take it out on somebody else. I'm going to take it out on the motherfucker who got it coming, so, nigga, if it's you, don't be a punk. Just come on out. Say what you need to say. We ain't got to play no guessing games, man. We ain't got to do that. We grown. I ain't got to play with you. I don't want to play with you. Okay? Go on with that bull. Oh. I got some uh, Welch's. That Concord grape juice in here. Damn, it's raining bad out there, y'all. It is really, really raining bad. Damn. All right. Mm. Always something. Ain't it? It's always something. Hmm. Mm. So anyway, I talked to my cousin today. Her name is Yawanda, but the family call her Ling. That's Brianna Mama. For all of the subscribers that know, my goddaughter Bri is her mother. Okay, me and her mother are first cousins. I know people be thinking that Brianna is my um, 
what y'all think think that she's my niece or some something like that i don't know but she's not she's my she actually is my second cousin like i said because me and her mother's first cousin but i talked to her today and um asked her you know was there anything i needed to to do now i got put in charge of uh the pictures for the obituary for my cousin sean's funeral for the people that don't know he passed away uh last week so i'm in charge of that and i've done it pretty much you know i have my cousins wanted a picture of sean and all of the first cousins okay and some of some of the first cousins was excluded because and I really do need to say this in case y'all watching. I know y'all watch sometimes, family. But don't feel no type of way because you may not have saw your picture. Because I got to tell y'all that my cousin Ling, she had an issue with her son, okay? Being tested, and he tested positive for the COVID-19. So she was quarantined. So she couldn't do a lot. So she put my cousin Nikwa in charge pretty much. And, um... It's just that me and Nikwa, we more like sisters. Just like my cousin Sean, we was more like siblings than than we are first cousins. So Nikwa was like, I want you to put the first cousins, you know, on the, the, the collage. I want the first cousins that was really close. That was in each other's life, you know, they whole life. So... Second, I mean, first cousins, the ones that did make the collage or the pictures up for the obituary, don't be mad at me. I do have to say I agree with Nikwa. Sorry. You know, y'all might have been the, the, the first cousins that just didn't come around or whatever. Maybe it was too young. I don't know. But I had to put the people up there that was really close. And that's what I did do. So it is what it is. But I also made um, collages of his mother and his father, um, his boys. Uh, the only one that I have to do that's left is the one of his children. Okay, he got four kids, um, and and I just I got I got three pictures of his kids but i need one more then i can complete that and i'll be done i thought i did a really good job my cousin told me she thought i did a good job and equal too so as long as they know i did a good job i'm cool with that period hmm Mm. Damn. So good. But y'all, I'm getting full. I know y'all gonna be tripping. <laughs> like, girl, what did you eat, girl? Not a lot. Not today. <laughs> These are so pretty, too. I like them. But, um, yeah, I got something to get going. I wish the rain stopped. I, I want to go. I don't want to stay, stay in here, you know. Partly because I took that diet pill today. Kind of hyped up. Kind of ready to go. Okay. I talked to my mama today. She was on her way to go get Uncle Macy. And I'm just going to go, y'all. I always got something to talk about on my mind. You know, I don't want nobody getting offended, you know. Not today. So I'm going to be quiet for now. <clears throat> we going to see about that, okay? And the reason why I said be quiet because I don't want to hurt nobody feelings. You know, I just don't just say shit. Well, sometimes I, I know I can say things to hurt people's feelings, but I ain't trying to do that now, you know. The family's already in mourning, but I, I do got some things I would love to. I would love to make a whole other video about some tell y'all about some stuff mm, behind the scenes type stuff but okay so with that being said let me just go ahead on and zip it and i'll see y'all in the next video
<laughs> now the funny part is this person want to sweat me down now okay y'all it's it's also fake it's just so fake you know first off ladies know your worth okay if you feel like a man is taking you for granted or whatever maybe it's it's another issue okay always be able to cut the ties with that person or if you don't cut the ties with that person at least have a plan b ladies okay if you don't have a plan b be working on one okay don't ever let especially if it's a person that really is not even hmm, i'm gonna say this if the person is grateful to have a woman like you um, because they know that, you know, they never had a woman like you ever. And if they get lucky to get a woman who's really good in whatever ways, honey, be able to tell that person you are really, really lucky to be with me. Okay? Tell him that. Okay? Let him know he's lucky to be with you. That you don't need to be with nobody. But that he's lucky to be with you. Okay? Let him know that you have options. Always let him know you have options. Okay? Because I think sometimes men forget. You like when you get comfortable... In a relationship or not even a relationship but a situation because at this point that's truly what I feel like I'm I'm involved in a situation not a relationship a situation because that's what it is and the thing is I'm gonna be smart enough to call it just what I see okay if that's what it is that's what it is but I'm not gonna let somebody keep trying to play games ladies don't don't let a motherfucker get into your up here Especially when he ain't even got that much brain power. Don't let a motherfucker like that think that he can turn the tables or whatever. Whatever's in his little mind. Don't let him don't let him do it. Always remind that nigga, okay, I know my worth. I know that if you can't get it together, you can go. Okay. There like I said earlier, there will be someone else. Okay? Every time. Okay, so please, ladies, always know your worth. Don't be out here just accepting anything because you don't have to. Okay, you don't have to. Get the mind frame, okay, that you are all that, okay? And I know that some people may not like that, but that's what I do. It works for me. But I lock it in my brain. I'm all that and then some. Hey, no. Damn, Kay. You okay? Kitty. She having an allergic reaction to something. Girl, was that a sneeze, Kitty? <laughs> anyway. Always let that man know that you know your worth as a female okay and that if he is not happy that he can kindly hurry up and go somewhere else because if you are not satisfied that's what matters okay i know in my mind that's the way i think okay so it is what it is some people might think that that's unfair and i made a video before saying it you know when it comes to men i am not fair I know I'm not fair. And I don't care. Okay. Because that's me. That's how I am. And I ain't changing it for nobody. Okay. If the man is not willing to accommodate or change for you or switch some things around for you, that's not the right person for you. Okay. Just understand. Always remind that man. I can't say it enough. But always remind him. You are worth this, that, and then some all the time, okay? Because like I say, some men take you for granted. Don't let it happen, ladies. Know your worth.
period.